say this doesn't look like solar? Look, sun machine. Can't get any more solar than that. Uh, this is a project I've been playing with for, geez, a couple years now. Once in a while when I get in the mood. Uh, this is an old sun machine, and uh, we're taking out the uh, neon flash tube and replace it with a high-speed LED. And uh, this works pretty good. Uh, this is a little different than you would normally see. I've uh, made it so you could actually do dwell on this. Uh, we have a a GM uh, four terminal ignition pack with the magnetic sensor and what you're seeing normally this is the time that uh, it's actually firing see these are very stable that one's very stable and this is when the, uh, the equivalent of the points close up to here so that's the on, on dwell uh, this distributor has a problem this was brought in and if you look This right here is the once per revolution. And we see we have problems always occurring at the same time. A little variance in dwell is uh, nothing to be too concerned about. But up here it's skipping. And you can see these are always uh, pretty regular. But you get some of these places, you got a whole bunch of them, and this one up here can be really jumping all around. You should see two of those really close together, but this is pretty bright, and uh, we have, like I said, the once per revolution, which is this little drop here. Underneath here, there is a uh, hollow effect sensor, and we drilled a small magnet in, and that gives us the once per revolution for uh, us doing computer things. And that also feeds this tack. Uh, this is really nice, you know, we've got a lot of digits here. And this is the calculating tack. And so it's uh, not jumping around a lot, it's pretty good speed. So, anyways, I'll have some more on this, but this is an interesting idea of, of uh, having it do the dwell for those old point ones. So, thanks for watching.